If you're having issues with Wi-Fi coverage, I'll show you how you can diagnose it with a Wi-Fi coverage map. We'll be using Unify's Wi-Fi Man app to scan your home or office. And at the end of it, you'll get a nice visual representation of what your Wi-Fi coverage looks like in your space. My name is Bogdan Chperny, founder of Apex One Tech. All my content is always free for you. All I ask is you subscribe and smash the like button. Let's go. All right, so what is the Wi-Fi Man app? Is this what you see right here? Looks something like that on the left there. And with it, you can create a heat map or a Wi-Fi coverage map. That's what they call a floor plan here. So it's essentially a heat map of your Wi-Fi signal strength, okay? So you can use the app when you have a Unify system network and you can scan, get a floor map of your Wi-Fi coverage, okay? And it's really designed to work with a Unify network, okay? On an iPhone especially, it's not really going to do anything for you without getting one of these guys, which is their Wi-Fi wizard, Wi-Fi man wizard, okay? So it's just a Bluetooth device that analyzes the spectrum of the frequencies correctly. Uh, that otherwise you can't do so without having a Unify network, okay? So just to be clear, if you're using Unify network, okay, you have a router, one of their gateways, then it will just work without this wizard. But otherwise you do need to get this device if you're just trying to scan something with, and you're you know, using some other, other router or something like that. And the heat map could look something like this. This is actually somewhat of a bad scan. You see the walls are all over the place. So I, I would say I was moving a bit too fast and turning too quickly, in case you don't want to do that. But this is what you can get out of it at the end. So it does, you know, scans your walls, obviously. And if we move here, you can in the light gray, those are objects like tables, couches, and there's some light blue there, some at the top, and that's actually glass. So it knows the difference between that, uh, which is kind of cool. You could also get screenshots from this, but there's no, there's no nice way to export this, unfortunately. But you can get a screenshot over it, at least to get, you know, and then draw over it some line work to get kind of the feel for the size of your room. And you could use this heat map, for instance, to understand if you need to add another Wi-Fi router or access point uh, is what it really is. So, for example, this is the scan at the bottom of the garage and the outdoor backyard. And it kind of looks a little funky, but that's because while I was in the backyard, it actually switched over from the 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi to the 2.4 gigahertz antenna. OK, so that's why it was pretty bad red, but then it switched over. OK. So, so that can happen. Also doesn't do great scans out outdoors, I would say. Although again, it just has to do with how fast you scan this, how fast you churn. Uh, that's a big factor for sure. This could tell me if I want to add another access point in the backyard, uh, if I want to keep it all in the five gigahertz range. Otherwise, it shows me that it does get 2.4 gigahertz coverage quite fine. So nothing to do here. Okay, so you just want to open the Wi-Fi Man app, uh, obviously in the App Store, just download it. And, you know, you can do speed tests here. Obviously, you want to be connected to your Wi-Fi to do this. So it takes a little bit to show everything. And we can do a speed test. We can go here to the Signal tab and just walk around and see right there it shows minus 63 dBm. So that's your signal strength, and that's good. Kind of changes to bad when it goes, I think, like 76 dBm minus, and then minus 80 is like poor, okay, uh, just for reference. But it'll show you that kind of a nice visual way here to, here as well. Okay, so we want to switch over to the floor plan and just click Create New Scan. It takes a second, but it uses the LiDAR on your iPhone. Um, so you do need to have that. Uh, most recent phones all have that. Okay, so you just kind of take it slow and you'll see it's actually making notes. If you can kind of see in the white text, table, seat, it understands that's a wall. So, you know, that dark black line is our walls. And as I'm walking around here, again, it's picking up objects that might be that are in your way, right? Right there, it's only that's a seat. It's picking up the glass to the right over there. That's that light blue. And other walls, so it's mapping out. You see, as I go further away from where I started, which was right next to a Unify Express, actually, gateway access point. So minus 60, okay, obviously, we're not too far. It's pretty good strength. So this is kind of how it works. Again, you don't want to move too fast, and when you don't, it references the last wall that you scanned pretty well. So nothing is distorted. Uh, it's even picking up the mantle there. So, and again, the glass. So it's working out quite well. And then when you're done, when you're actually done, you click done at the very top there. 
You can give a name just to understand, you know, where you're scanning, which Wi-Fi you're on, uh, things like that. And then click save. And if I were doing this, I would most likely scan like the indoor area first and do a separate scan for the outdoor. If you have a second level, right, it doesn't support like just walking up the stairs. You want to save one, do a second floor or do an outside if that matters. Uh, so do it like that and then just save over to see what you got. And once you actually do a final full scan, you'll get something like this. So this is like a 1500 square foot home, three bedroom. You can see the access points where it's all green. That's it's kind of located in the closet up top. So I could, if I want better coverage right there in the northwest, I could move the access points, right? Maybe a little bit more north because right now it's quite tucked away. But for me, it doesn't matter again. This is just a tool to use to see, okay, if I need, you know, maybe I'm not getting coverage from my cameras by the garage or something. And you can kind of see the signal really degrades there. It's in the red. You could, you know, put another access point. Maybe you need one in the garage, for for instance, or in the backyard. So that's kind of how you can use this. And I would recommend if you have more than one, you know, Wi-Fi channel, you kind of can filter it out. You can make one that's just for 5 gigahertz, one for 2.4, and understand the reach of each one, okay? Because most likely, if you have some kind of smart home devices like cameras that talk with your smart home, like Apple HomeKit, they work on 2.4, so you're not going to have a problem. This scan right here started at the 5 gigahertz, okay? And you can kind of tell down here at the bottom right, the signal went down quite a lot, and then it switched over to the 2.4 gigahertz. So that, that's what happened there. So anyways, that tells me I still have coverage on my driveway, no problem. And again, like I mentioned, there's if you don't have a unified network, there's kind of no point. You can't do much without the Wi-Fi man wizard. So if you just want to scan with a network that you do have, I mean, you essentially need to have uh, something like this or some other device. This is just what we use. Otherwise, what you can also do is, that might be useful just for reference so you know what's available out there. There is a design center, so design.ui.com. You can go there, you can you know, plan out your map, you draw the walls that you need to, and you can draw you know, drop objects to understand, okay, here's a UDR, which is just one of the, you know, unified gateways that they have and access points. So, you know, I can drop it and understand what kind of coverage am I getting, right? And you can filter out what you see. This is the five gigahertz, you know, 2.4 is going to be great, obviously. So I'll probably have a video up here in the screen or in the description, uh, how to use this. So I can, I can show you guys that if you need a tutorial on this, but this could be useful if you're not able to get the Wi-Fi man wizard and you just want to drop in your house or business floor plan and understand, you know, which Wi-Fi gateway do I need or unified gateway do I need? Do I need one? Do I need more? And then you could go over here to store.ui.com and just click on unified cloud gateways. And for example, if you just kind of want it all in one device, you either will get this Dream Router or the Unify Express. Uh, these are pretty good entry point units right here. If you're just looking for access points, they'll be here under Wi-Fi. But you know, one, one of these devices is what you would map out in the design center if you want to plan this out. Hit the like button and subscribe if you learned something new. If you tried out the Wi-Fi Man app and it worked for you well on the iPhone, let me know how that went. If you have any tips on how to get a really nice scan or if you were able to get an interior and exterior at the same time, I kind of had issues with that. That's not the easiest to do. Uh, I don't know if lighting matters because I did do this at night. So let me know in the comment section below. And if you have any questions, you can post it there as well. I'll have links to everything I talked about in the description and helpful videos. If you need help on setting up a new Unify system, it'll be on the screen here and the description. Thanks for watching. Take care.